back to Morning Drive. What a pleasure it is to welcome back our Coach of the Week, Todd Sones Golf Channel Academy, lead coach at the Todd Sones Impact Golf at White Deer Run Golf Club in Vernon Hills, Illinois. And I understand we got a bit of good news to share with our viewers at home. You won a uh, Editor's Choice Award there at Golf Digest. We did. We have, we have a great staff. You know, I hired all my guys from the Golf Academy of America, and we just have a great staff. Mm -hmm. So... Well, congratulations. Thank well you. deserved. And, and yesterday you were here. We talked about the setup and the importance of the setup. And I think it's mandatory here that we, we need to go through that Absolutely. one more time as a quick review for me and the viewers at home. So well, let's remember, go ahead and walk we through. talked about yesterday. We talked about rotate, tuck, and tilt. Right? Rotate your elbows in so your palms face each other. Palms are on the grip. Tuck so your elbows are on top of your rib cage, mm -hmm. connected, and then tilt till the putter hits the ground. So it makes it really simple. Oh, there's, Wait a minute. there's kind of a problem here. Something wrong, you look like wrong Michelle here, Wee, Travis. <laughs> right? Not that that's all bad. I think this right? part's too short. Yeah, and this is a little long. How about if we switch? Right? Maybe this will work a little better. Try that right? again. All right. So rotate, tuck, and tilt. Now you've got your putter. I've got my putter that's been fitted properly. Now it works. Right? So now we're in good setup positions to really let the stroke be natural. Yeah, this right? feels, that feels a lot better. So I'm set up properly, right? And that right. has a huge influence to the stroke. So walk us through that now and how the stroke works. So when we're set up with basically our eyes over the ball, but we can see it better, we can see the line better. When our hands are under our shoulders, we don't have to worry about path because the hands just work back and forth under the shoulders. We don't have to worry about face because our, gri our grip is basically running through our palm so the face doesn't twist. So that gets the ball rolling straight off the face of the club. So next is solid contact, mm -hmm. right? Well, solid contact, really, if you think about a pendulum, in a pendulum, the fulcrum of a pendulum stays still. It doesn't move, right, while the bottom swings. The top of the fulcrum is your sternum. So it's really important when you putt that you learn to keep your fulcrum steady. Keep your fulcrum steady so the putter goes back and forth, the sternum stays steady, and you can have a pendulum stroke. So no movement to the right or to the left, but just, just in the yeah. spine right You know, there. the most common thing that amateurs do, they want to look at the putt, they come out of it, right? They want to see. It takes a discipline and practice to really let the putter stop moving, right, mm -hmm. until, or keep the sternum to stay still while the putter see, keeps moving. Let's try that once there. So let's right. make our set up there. So we want to get set. Mm -hmm. We want to keep everything still with the fulcrum and just let the putter move back and forth, right, without looking. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Don't look. So we got a lot of viewers at home and, and people that will come to you and they go through the fitting. And now they have a different length putter, right? And oftentimes the putter is too long. Where in my example, it was too short. You right. had mine, of course, it was too long. And that's more of what you would see. So can those people just cut the putter down, or how does that work? Well, here's the thing. Speed is all about feel. I got to feel the putter head as it goes back and forth so I can control the speed of the putter head that controls the speed of the golf ball. Well, feel is feel of the swing weight. So if you look at my putter, it's really great because I use a Scotty Cameron putter and we use these at our school because it has weights that are interchangeable and my putter's 32 inches. So I literally have 30 gram weights in the bottom of my putter. If a putter gets shorter, you make it shorter, you grip down on it, you've got to get the putter heavier in the head. Mm -hmm. And very simply, Travis, if you put a club on a scale, a swing mm -hmm. weight scale, cut this end down, the weight moves closer to the fulcrum, it mm -hmm. feels lighter in the player's hand, you've got to make it heavier to bring the feel back to it. If it's longer, like your putter, would need to have a lighter head than my putter. So you've got to have the right length for setup mm -hmm. and the right weight for feel. <clears throat> so we've got the right length putter. We've got the right weight. The stroke now is more instinctive, right? Yeah. Now we just got to dial in distance control. So share some thoughts on that. So here's distance control. Basically, distance control is how far does the putter head travel? That's why it's so important to have the right weight so I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about a pendulum, what controls speed is the backswing because how far I take the weight back is gonna control how fast it swings through. So many people have what I call a signature backstroke. That means they always take the putter back about the same distance. Mm. If the putter goes back to the same distance, basically you have to control the speed in the forward stroke. So in other words, if I have a 10 inch backstroke and a four foot putt, I'm gonna tell myself to slow down. If I've got a 10 inch backstroke and a 50 foot putt, I'm gonna tell myself to speed up. So what you really want is you want to change the length of your backstroke. Mm. So if I want to hit a short putt, I'm going to have a short backstroke. If I want to hit a faster putt, a longer putt, I'm going to have a longer backstroke. That way I don't have to manipulate the speed in the forward stroke. That's great stuff and uh, really appreciate all Thank of this you, information Travis. over the last couple of days. One of the best top 50 Thank on you the Golf much. Digest and a lead coach for Golf Channel Academy.
We're posting new tips with Todd every day this week on the Golf Channel Academy Facebook and Twitter pages. To book a lesson with Todd, I highly recommend it. Get a new student assessment or to find a coach near you, visit GolfChannelAcademy.com.